about to rap. Hello again. <laughs> That's not my talent. Um, <laughs> again, we want to thank you. Uh, of course, you would be in class anyway, but we want to introduce uh, our guest for the morning. Uh, Dr. Gerard McClendon is an Emmy Award winning talk show host and professor and author. He's hosted uh, the McClendon Report, Gerard McClendon on CLTV. Um, and his Emmy Award was for best host on the PBS show, The Challenge of Raising Black Boys. Um, he is also the author of X or Ask, the African American Guide to Better English, and is an assistant professor at Chicago State University. Um, he also runs the Milton and Ruby McClendon Memorial Education Foundation, and he earned his PhD in education, yay, I'm a former teacher, <laughs> from Loyola University and lives in Chicago with his wife, Q. Please give a warm welcome to Dr. Gerard McClendon. <laughs> It really is. I like to get a feel for the room, though. I like to get to know everyone. I don't have that much time today because I got to get on a flight, but uh, I do want to get to know everyone in the room quickly here. So if we could just quickly go around the room, give me your name and what you plan to do with your uh, with your media savvy. Let's start right here. Hi, I'm Ashley, and I'm producing. You want to produce? Oh, let me write this down. Okay. <laughs> you want to produce? What do you want to produce? Okay. Live, live news. News, okay, good, 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 good. Good, Ashley, next to you, what's your name? Uh, Brandon Wright. Brandon, what's up, Brandon? I'm good. What do you want to do, what do you want to do? Um, TV personnel. TV? Personnel, like, kind of like a host, anchor. Okay, okay. You got all that personality to do that? I'll do that. That'll work, <laughs> I can tell, I can tell. That'll work, that'll work, that'll work, Brandon. Let's keep it going, let's see, let me go shh, right here. Um, I'm Jimmy and I'm an inspiring director. What, what, what do you want to direct? Uh, music videos, short films, documentaries, everything. You guys got cell phones? Yeah. Lock me in right now, because lock me in right now. My number is 800-975-6044. I got to hook up, y'all need to stay in touch with me. 800-975-6044. Yeah. Um, so we, we, I'm glad he said that. 800-975-6044. I'm glad you said. Just left my, my son's in Atlanta. My son's 23 years old. He, uh, he's a music producer. He just got off the two different sets of music videos. You know, uh, Atlanta's the hot place right now, speaking of which. Um, good, 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 Jimmy. Do you have your own camera yet? Yeah. What you got? Uh, Canon Rebel T5. You do, okay, you the man, you the man. Good, good, good. Let's keep it moving. I'm Johnny, I want to uh, have a production company or something, so I don't want to direct, but I want to be around and other cameras and all that stuff. Okay, good. So you want to own a production company? Yeah. Well, okay. Okay, good. What kind of production? Music videos. That'll work. <laughs> That'll work. Good, Johnny, good, Johnny. Yes, sir. You wanna do radio? Okay. Charlemagne the God. Y'all know nothing about that. Y'all know about that Charlemagne, that Breakfast Club. Charlemagne, good friend of mine. He's ridiculous. Oh God, he's ridiculous. Oh, he's ridiculous. He will say anything. Only he can get away with that. So most people can't get. <laughs> yes. Hey Brian, what do you want to do? Okay. Good. Good. Good, good. Yes. Well, my name is Maria. I want to be a sports broadcaster. Really? Yeah. Okay. You need to hook up with a good friend of mine who just started a show in the city, an internet sports show. Good, good, Maria. Okay, good, good. Yes. I'm Cole. Cole, what's up, man? Talk to me. What do you want to do? 
something entertaining? You want to be an entertainer or you want to produce entertainment? What do you want to do? You juggle? You comedy? You rap? What do you do? Oh, you okay? A radio, 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 and TV? Okay. You think you got the voice for that man? You think you got it? Okay. Okay. You got strong opinions, don't you? Okay. Good, good, good. Yes. What do you want to direct? Okay, good, good. Excellent, excellent. Let's go with the young lady next to you. Yes. Um, you, Ari. You're Ari? Yes. Talk to me, Ari. What do you want to do? Um, I want to start out as a radio personality and end up owning my own station. Okay, good. Terrestrial radio is still where it's at. Everyone's, everyone's like, oh, internet, everything's internet. When you get in a car, you don't really have time to fumble around with internet. You got time to what? Push a button. Radio is hot. Bill Curtis uh, used to be a reporter for uh, Channel 2 News. He also does uh, those shows on uh, Lifetime and A&E, uh, the, uh, the forensic shows. He said radio is the last woman and the last man standing because it's the simplest form of media, but it's still the most powerful because everyone out here right now, that's State Street, right? They've got a radio on. They're not fumbling around. You know, some of them might be goofing around with internet. None of them are watching TV, but they got that radio on. Radio is hot. Very, very influential, Ari. Good, good, good. Yes. Serenity. Serenity. What do you want to do? Okay. All these, man, personality. This is good. Okay. Yes, sir. Justin. Hey, Justin. What do you want to do? The whole nine. Okay, might as well take 10. <laughs> yes. You got that one? You got that Mets hat on? Oh, man. That is sharp, though. I'm a Cub fan. That's <laughs> all good. The hat is nice. What's your name? Jeff. What do you want to do, man? Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good. And got you two already. Yes. What's the, what's the name? Dave. 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 How you doing, man? Yes, sir. How you doing? What do you want to do, Dave? Uh, I'm into a lot of marketing and sales. Marketing. I like it. That's the heartbeat of media, man. You know? Good. Cheryl Pearson McNeil is a good friend of mine. She's Vice President of Nielsen Ratings. Yeah, good, good, good buddy of mine. Anyone else? Good, 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 good. Okay, this is excellent. I, I'll make it quick today. I'm not going to show really any of my demo stuff today. You can always go to my website and see it. But it's important to build a website or build your own app, all right, or start a blog. The world needs to know who you are, all right. Uh, as long as you remain anonymous, you're not going to get hired. You can't create any heat in the streets. You know, people are not going to feel you. You got to immediately get out there and start making some noise, all right? Um, and you have to start producing something. So the thing is, everyone says, well, I want to be a producer. I want to be a personality. I want to. And then you ask a person, let me see your stuff. And then they're like, oh, I ain't quite got it yet. I ain't quite. Then you're not a producer. You want to be a producer, rapper, recording artist, uh, fashion designer, writer, blogger, but you don't have anything to show me? You're not for real. Because there's someone that wants to do the same thing you want to do. They got up an hour earlier than you this morning, and they will go to bed an hour later because they're grinding. <laughs> that they're grinding. That is so important to be on that grind. 
I brought this in just to inspire you. I usually wear it around my neck. Miami. <laughs> I usually wear it. Play for play. <laughs> but it's a beautiful thing. You know, and, and you don't, you don't, you never should aspire to win awards. I'm gonna win a Grammy. I want to I want I want that Ega. I want to win a Grammy. I want to win a Tony. I want to win an Oscar. I want to win an Emmy. No, you do good work. And then if you do the good work, you will be rewarded. It's gonna come. All right, it will come. People say, I want to get paid. I want to make all that money. Do good work. The money will come. All right, the money will come. Uh, work for free. <laughs> I have two interns of mine on the Empire set every week, and I got two interns on the Chicago Fire set. Every week they are working. Now. The, the, four, the four interns that I have on those shows, they're not getting paid, but they've already been promised assistant writer positions. Writers on Empire make $9,000 a week. Here's the crazy part. Writers and producers making that much money a week, if they were walking down the street, you wouldn't even know them, would you? They're making all the money. So it's not always about being out front. Flashing, flossing. Sometimes more money is made behind the scenes. All right. A friend of mine, James T. Alfred, uh, he he runs Ghetto A Studios on Empire. You guys ever see this little ghetto studio they have on Empire? He's the owner of that studio. So he's on the show occasionally. He makes about nine thousand a week. Um, now here's the crazy part. You want to eventually get that SAG card. What does SAG stand for? Screen Actors Guild, you want to get that SAG after card, all right? Because when you first start working, do stuff free. Get a good internship. Work on some people's sets. But eventually, you want to get that SAG after card or you want to get your producer's card. You want to get that card because you never want to be in a situation where you're, make, you're, you're, you're working for 50, 50 and $75 a day. Once you get that SAG after card, your minimum is going to be like eight fifty, nine hundred a day, regardless of what you do. So let me give you an example. James T. Alfred, who is on the Empire, an actor on the Empire set, if he has to deliver one line, all right, get out of my studio right now before somebody get hurt. If he has to just deliver that line, he still gets paid the nine thousand dollars for that day. The rest of the day, he can just sit in his trailer. If he doesn't have a Screen Actors Guild card, he doesn't make that money, all right? You also get a per diem. You get $100 worth of meals per day once you're on set, all right? And so it's very important to do things professionally. We all want to do things kind of a quick, fast, ghetto way. Yeah, that, that lasts only for so long. It comes a time you got to say, wait a minute, I'm a, I'm a media professional. And I take myself seriously. And you can't come at me with something that's halfway because I'm all way. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the level. You, that's why your classes here are so important. Take these classes as if your life depended on it. You should be getting here early, staying late, playing with the equipment, uh, hooking up with people that you, if you're a producer, try to produce someone who wants to be a personality. If you're a personality, get with a producer that can produce you. If you know a photographer in here, have them take your head shots. Do this thing right. Do it right, you know. Um, so the importance of being on time. Malcolm X said, if you're early, you're late. Okay? If you're if you're, he, no, I'm sorry, he said, if you're, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. If you're late, you don't get paid, all right? You want to always make sure that you're on time. Who wants to work in a newsroom in here? Newsroom people, you got to be on time because you don't know when news is going to break. So it's best that you are there before it breaks, all right? You have to establish a presence. So when people see you, it's like, oh, that's Cole. 
Man, what you know about that Cole? Oh man, this dude is crazy. This cat, funniest dude I ever met in my life. How do you know that? Oh, I went to Cole's website. I saw some videos of Cole's on YouTube. Oh man, I went to Vimeo and so saw Cole's H, you know, high definition stuff. All right, Cole has a blog. Oh, really? What does he talk about? He talks about comedy in the blog. You can hit Cole from three, four, five different points of view. So now I know that Cole is serious. So your presence is so important. Um, I, 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 I was an assistant producer on it, uh, Iyanla Fix My Life, Oprah Winfrey Network, when they did the show on the man who had multiple wives, multiple babies with multiple women. The one man had 34 children with 18 women or something like that. So I was on that show, and I, I did some consulting on the show, and it was interesting because um, and I got to spend some good quality time with Oprah Winfrey. O Oprah Winfrey said, she said, Gerard, every time you leave the house, dress up. And she didn't mean like a suit. She just said, dress the way you want to be accepted. So, so, so when Spike Lee was shooting uh, Chirac, he shot Chirac for three weeks in, uh, in Inglewood, Auburn, Gresham, and in Austin. He was here like all summer. Every time you saw Spike, you, you, you guys know what Spike looks like, right? Little guy, five foot two, five foot three, always has a Brooklyn hat on or a New York Yankees hat on, some kind of New York hat on. He always has what kind of shoes on? Jordans, always wear. That's the Spike Lee outfit. He might have a 40 acres and a mule letterman jacket on. So, when, so if he's walking down the street, oh, that's Spike. It should be the same for all of you in here. Start creating your essence, your flavor. People should know what that is. You know, um, it's very important. It's very important. Hard work. I can't stress this anymore. Um, when I was trying to get my show on, on WGN CLTV, I had previously, I did, um, commentary for Channel 11, Chicago Tonight, WTTW. I also did commentary for Fox, for MSNBC, and I had my own show in Indiana. I did my own show on a cable network in Indiana, free, for five years. Didn't get paid a penny. Why did I do that? Why, why would I do something like that? From 1999 to 2004, I did a free show with my brother myself we bought our own tables bought our own chairs bought our own cameras why would i do something like that give me some answers you guys help me out portfolio very good anything else brand myself yes anything else exposure yes Expo cable station gonna give me free time once a week to do an hour-long show from 7 to 8 o'clock at night, every Friday night, I'm taking it. I'm there. Anything else? Experience. Hey, who said it? Experience. Why would I need experience? Because you're doing it. Actually doing it. Not saying I want to do it, right? Actually doing it. Making mistakes, right? Making lots of mistakes. Not able to read the prompter well, prompter goes out. Not able to ad lib well, you know, uh, uh, be, getting to the point where I can control tantrums. I wanted to get polished before the world saw me. Very important to do that. So start thinking about producing some stuff free. You know, say, hey, got this project, wanna do this two minute video on blah, 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 blah. Do it. Get it together and just do it. You know, uh, we shot a film, a short film by Buckingham Fountain this summer uh, called I Miss You. Short three minute film about a couple that hadn't seen each other in two years. And uh, I, it, it's, it's not on my Gerard McClendon website, but it's on another website. I'll make sure that if you call me or if you go to the Gerard McClendon website, I'll put a link on there so, that, so you can see that. I'm always producing stuff. You know, uh, uh, 
media jobs are the hardest jobs to get. You guys know that, right? They're be because everybody wants them. So you have to grind. You have to, to really, really be out there and start grinding. Let me see if this works. I'm, I'm not necessarily going to play the video on these, but I don't need the audio either, really. Let's see if it works. Become more educated. Okay, these are, uh, these are clips from Fox. So I always keep my clips on my website. So at any given moment, if I, if I write a book, uh, people will automatically know where to see me. If, I, if I'm doing a documentary, people know where to hit me. Uh, uh, television stations and radio stations can say, oh man, uh, Gerard McClendon is hot, he's a good talker. If we need a guest in a pinch, call him. You know, because they know that I'm versatile and I'm loquacious and I can get the job done. And I can, I can bring ratings in. I mean, that proves it right there. I can give you some ratings. More train. And I thought I was going to see Democrat arrogance leave the building, but Quinn is holding on to this like a rhino clutching a bomb. He is not letting it go. Um, this is the latest. I'm working on a documentary now. It's on ending violence in the United States. These are the mock ups of the movie poster. It's going to be on television. I need you guys' help. Tell me what you want. I want some. Tell me which one you like between these two. The documentary is called Forgiving Cain, The Impossible Possibility of Ending Murder. That's what it looks like. It's a girl erasing a chalk line of a dead body. Forgiving Cain. Let's take a look at those two. And the ones that are the others. Forgiving Cain. We're not sure which one we're going to use yet. You like this one? Yeah. Yeah. This one? Yeah. You like you guys like these two? You guys like those two better than these two? No, no, I like the left one. You like no. this one? No. Uh, this one. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm young people to take a look at those. But that's a documentary we, we, we shot all summer. We shot 22 families of people who had lost a loved one to murder. And uh, it's called Forgiving Cain. We're focusing on uh, the, the murder statistics in the United States. But then at the end, we're looking at uh, the power of forgiveness and how uh, the only way we can change things is to love people. So I'm going to need interns for that as well. You know, so if anyone and do any uh, uh, Adobe Premiere work or Final Cut Pro 7 or 10 stuff. If you're versed in that, you know, uh, just give me, give me a holler. Yes? You got my number. Okay, you have my number, 800-975-6044, 800-975-6044. So just call me. If I don't pick up, leave a message, tell me who you are. Of course, I'll have all your names now right here. And uh, just let me know what you can do, all right? Uh, we're going to be in post from like November 1st to like December 15th. The documentary will air on PBS. It'll, it'll air on about 200 PBS stations. After it airs on PBS in the spring, then it's going to HBO, and then it's going to Netflix. And so we're really excited, excited about that. Um, I shot most of the documentary. Uh, me, two other camera people, and I have two other producers. Very small crew. These days, if you have, uh, he, he, you, you say you got a Rebel, right? You have a Rebel? Yeah. If you got a Rebel, you got a Panasonic, you got a Canon, Nikon, digital camera, you can do anything you want. You know, don't sit back and wait. I don't have a camera. I don't have, you know, NLE. I don't have, yes, you do. You have yourself. Start shooting something, all right? Start shooting something. Uh, when we won the Emmy for this show, uh, for uh, Off 63rd on PBS, it was the challenge of raising African-American boys. 
we opened up with a clip from the boondocks. Uh, and it was, uh, and then that's pretty much what started the conversation, you know, uh, because most of my shows are pretty sanitized, but the shows that I get most passionate about and just go off on, those are the ones people like the best. That show right there, it won that Emmy because it was the most raw. I mean, it was earthy, we were speaking the truth, and, uh, and we didn't hold anything back, you know. So at this time, I'm going to take questions. I'm going to take questions before I have to get up out of here. Any questions? Any questions about the grind? Yes? Was that what you did through, like, uh, you know, setbacks and struggles when you felt like you were down, you know, when you lost your voice and stuff like that? Always stay in motion. So in media, never wait. Don't wait for someone to call you. Be the aggressor. Okay, be the one that's more assertive. So let me tell you what I did. Uh, well, to answer your question, a lot of prayer and meditation got me through that, but one. But even in that hospital bed, I was still right. I was still creating, still thinking about stuff. And, and I, I have resolved myself. I said, if I never am able to speak again, I can be the voice for someone else. I can write the words for someone else. I can find someone like you and create a show with. You know, so you always have to think like that. You know, that's so why a lot of uh, a lot of actors eventually produce. You know, you look at uh, uh, Angelina Jolie and uh, what's her husband's name? Brad. Brad Pitt. You know, yeah, they're on screen a lot, but they produce. I mean, they they produce a lot. You know, and so and the beauty of production is when you produce something, it'll go places you'll never go. A personality is just a personality, right? That's the brand, that's the image. But when you produce something, a book, a film, a documentary, it will end up places you'll never be able to get to. You know, and so that's, that's extremely powerful. Get in the habit of sending out demonstration materials, resume materials, your trans, get in the habit of sending that stuff out on a weekly basis. Don't send something out and then expect WGN to call you. I can't understand why Fox didn't call me. I sent them my demos. Every Friday, whatever day you choose, you should be sending out materials. This is what I do. I'm a producer. You know, this is my demo reel. Go, go to my link. Professionally written letter. Make sure that you have your links on there to where people can hit you. And if you can, include the actual demonstration that you need. Now, today, you pretty much don't need to you know, burn DVDs or CDs or anything like that because you can use links. But you should be sending this stuff out constantly. So stay on your grind. Get the Emmy. Get whatever you need to get. You know, if you, like I said, 800 975 6044, call me up. You know, I'm looking for interns. Empire is always looking for interns. Chicago Fire is always looking for interns. You know, I can point you right in that direction. And uh, once you graduate from here and you get build up your portfolio, please get that SAG after card. Very important. Okay, it's cool to work for fifty dollars, but it's cooler to work for nine thousand dollars a day. <laughs> you guys have a plug. <laughs>